Hey fam, join us for some Chamorro Escabeche. All right, so what we're gonna do, I went ahead and scaled the fish already. They should be pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and cut this into thirds. If I can get to the bone. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and salt, pepper everything. We're gonna season both sides. Be sure to, to get up in there. Get up in there with the seasonings. Alrighty. All right, so we've gutted, scaled, and uh, cut into thirds our fish. So now we're, and seasoned them. So now we're gonna go ahead and fry them up. May not be able to put it all in one go, but that's okay. Go for about three to four minutes on each side. All right, so we gotta drain our fish. Make sure you get all that grease off or as much as you can. Okay, so we are washing our vegetables. Here's the green beans. These are carrots straight from our garden. But baby carrots, peeled baby carrots would be the easier way to go. Yeah, and then we're gonna um, peel them and then we're gonna cut them. But we grew these, so we're gonna use these. Okay, so next we're gonna clean our bug choy. What you need to do is break each stem apart. We wanna wash it thoroughly. See all that yuckiness in there? All right. Okay, so we're gonna cut off our ends and then we want pinky sized carrots. Cut it lengthwise. Half like little carrot fingers. Nice. All right, so we got our carrots completed. Now she's gonna show us how we do the green beans. Green beans, again, we want it pinky size, so just cut it in half. And pinky size. Half a cabbage. We're gonna cut this into squares. Okay, cut them lengthwise and then cut them across. So we have our bok choy. Really we're wanting just the leafy part of it. So we're gonna cut off the stems at the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna start with a large pot and we're gonna bring this water to a boil to blanch our vegetables. Make sure you salt the water. And what you'll need for blanching is a colander, small colander to get the vegetables out and then a large colander to put our vegetables. All right, so we're just gonna blanch. We're not gonna fully cook uh, one vegetable at a time, as Tammy's mom would say. So we'll just get these blanched. What we're gonna do, we're gonna cook all our green vegetables first. Okay. All right, so we got our green beans blanched. We're gonna go ahead and take them out. So there's our green beans. Next goes in our bok choy. Okay, so our bok choy, really only just a minute or so. Yeah, it doesn't take long to blanch this. Go ahead and put that in with our green beans. Well, not lastly, last of the greens. We have our chopped cabbage. Okay, so our cabbage is pretty much done. Add that to the pile. All right, so now we got our carrots. In goes 
Lastly is the carrots. Okay, so our carrots are done. And they come out of the pot and into the pile. All right, so now we're gonna just set this stuff aside and we're gonna get everything ready to go ahead and make our sauce that's gonna go on it. Okay, so what's our first step here? Okay, so we're gonna put down about six tablespoons of oil. All right, so we have our oil, vegetable oil heated up. Now we're gonna add our onions. And we're kind of rushing through this now because we are hungry. hungry. It's hard making a video, you guys don't realize, it's hard making a video when she gets off at five and we want to eat. So by the time we're done with the video, we're starving. Lots of garlic, we like garlic. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, saute these down. Okay. All right, so we'll salt and pepper our uh, garlic and onions here. Okay, so we'll... this is one fourth cup of apple cider vinegar. You can use white vinegar, but apple cider vinegar brings out more flavor. So we're gonna add that. We're gonna add about two tablespoons of powdered turmeric. So this is what gives that escabeche that yellow, um, yellow color. So what you wanna do is make sure you use a strainer because you don't want, it. it's, it's very strong. You don't and, want chunks. And you don't want chunks, exactly. Because it can get very bitter. And you wanna cook this down for about five minutes. Okay, and then last thing, we are gonna add about half a cup of water to make our sauce. And then we wanna bring that to a boil. All right, now we gotta assemble everything. Yeah, so we're gonna just, with our fish, we're gonna use a large baking dish here. And we're just gonna assemble all that beautiful vegetables on here. All right, so in our case, we had to add a little bit more water just to get the um, sauce to the right texture, thickness that we wanted it. So we'll go ahead and add a little bit of water, mix up our ingredients. So we initially did half a cup. You may want to add a little bit more. Yeah, it just so depends. You get it, right. it depends, it depends. Okay, so our sauce is ready. And the last step, we have all the fish and all our vegetables. So pretty, colorful. And then what we're gonna do is pour this on top, all over the top, so. The one thing that we did not add was eggplant. We're not too much of a fan of it, so we excluded it, but you can add it to your dish. Make sure to get the corner there. So we wanna just let this soak for a minute, soak through the fish, and then we're gonna mix mix it in well. Okay, so we are mixing all that. Yeah, everything coated. Goodness. All right, thanks for joining us for Snapper Escabeche. Be sure to like our video, subscribe, and share, and we are out of here.